It's hard on ugly people. They got it rough nowadays. They do, because we live in such a vain society. Proof of that, all you got to do is look at reality TV. You know what I mean? Shows like Blind Date Survivor, no ugly people on it. How are there no ugly people on a show called Blind Date? <laughs> Shit, ugly people, the reason blind dates were invented in the first place. <laughs> you know, ever see the interviews on that show? They're always so unrealistic. It's always some young, pretty girl all full of life. She's like, yeah. hi, my name is Alicia, and I'm a 26-year-old university student with a rockin' bod. <laughs> You know, I have blonde hair and blue eyes, and I want to meet a man that enjoys watching the hills and dancing the night away. Woo! <laughs> well, those aren't the people that are going on blind dates, man. Just once I'd love to see some desperate old hag on there. You know I mean, just making a last-ditch plea to avoid dying alone. Huh? <laughs> just, hi, my name is Burl. <laughs> And I'm a 67-year-old rabbit breeder. <laughs> I have hazel eyes, one of which is lazy. <laughs> My hair color is whatever dye was on sale down at the shopper's drug mart. And quite simply put, I'm just looking for a man with a cock and a heartbeat. <laughs> See the places they're going these blind dates too? I saw one where a couple went body painting. It's ridiculous. Right? Blind dates don't go body painting. Blind dates don't take each other out in public, man. They don't take each other out in public. Blind dates look at each other in the face and go, Ugh. Ugh, I don't know, you want to grab some takeout? And then devour it in shame in my dark mirrorless basement? You know? Survivor, remember when Survivor first came on? You had all kinds on that show. You had fat gay dudes walking around, <laughs> ugly ass trucker chicks, it was awesome. But the last one they had just all beautiful people, man, it's bullshit. I don't want to see beautiful people compete for a million dollars. Look, they already won the genetic lottery, all right? <laughs> what did they need another reward for? I mean, oh, congratulations, Tina, the swimsuit model. Here's your million dollars. Now you're even better off in life than you were before, you greedy bitch. <laughs> No, you want to make that show interesting? Get Burl and the gang on there. You know what I mean? Get the freaks from my fucking apartment building on that show. Round up the ugliest pieces of garbage from all four corners of the earth and put them on that thing. Turn that son of a bitch into a real-life island of Dr. Moreau. You know? I mean, that's captivating television right there. You're telling me you guys wouldn't watch that? You wouldn't watch some one-eyed hunchback midget trying to collect firewood? You know, some 700 pounds, say, like covered shut in, scooping salmon out of a river with his bare hands, just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And then those immunity challenges they have could be way more interesting. Can you imagine the immunity challenges on Ugly Survivor? <laughs> they have immunity challenges, like, I don't know, like, like strip them all naked and make them stare at each other. <laughs> and then the one that pukes last wins. <laughs> 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 